and uh, welcome everyone to the seventh annual Butte County Office of Education Superintendent's Juried High School Art Show Award Ceremony. Uh, Jacqueline, could you go to the previous slide, please? Uh, this um, morning, we launched the online exhibit that includes near, nearly 100 works by Butte County High School students. You can view the entire exhibit at bit.ly slash B-C-O-E VAPA. That's B-I-T dot L-Y slash B-C-O-E VAPA. Tonight, we will be looking at the award-winning artworks only. So please check out the entire exhibit. At the end of tonight's presentation, we'll give you that link again. Before we begin, I need to thank some of those responsible for the exhibit and for tonight's award ceremony. First, thank you to the participating high schools, Core Butte, Chico High School, Durham High School, Gridley High School, Fairview High School, Hearthstone School, Inspire School of Arts and Sciences, Orville High School, Paradise High School, and Pleasant Valley High School. Thank you to the nearly 100 talented and diligent students who created the works that were, sub that were submitted for this exhibit, many of whom in their statements alluded to themes about this past year of risk, fear, and loss, and who describe art as their preferred place to be. Thank you to our judges, Bobby Jones, Cameron Kelly, Linda Watkins Bennett. They had the most difficult job of all, narrowing down the 18 winners out of all of the truly top-notch amazing works that were submitted. Thank you to our BCOE Visual and Performing Arts team, which includes Michelle Zevely, Associate Superintendent, who oversees the division, Jeanette Spencer, who directly oversees the VAPA program, and Carrie Hayrand, my colleague, who had the second most difficult job, which was obtaining the artwork images and managing the logistics of putting the works online. Thanks to the California County Superintendent's Art Initiative that funds the actual awards we will be giving out tonight. Now, I'm pleased to introduce you to someone without whom this exhibit and awards would not be possible, Superintendent Mary Sakuma. Thank you so much, Jennifer. It's truly an honor to be here this evening with all of you. I want to take a moment and introduce our Butte County Board of Education members who are with us this evening. First, Mr. Mike Walsh. Mike is the president of the Butte County Board of Education. Thank you for joining us tonight, Mike. Next, Ms. Amy Christensen. Amy is the trustee for Area One, Chico. Thank you for joining us tonight and celebrating these young artists. I would also like to recognize Mr. Tim Taylor, former Butte County Superintendent of Schools. Tim has a deep passion for the arts and he is an artist himself. Tim started the BCOE Superintendent's High School Art Show during his time as superintendent. Thank you, Tim, for joining us this evening and for sharing your love of the arts. Thanks, Mary. There are several art teachers here tonight and others who are unable to attend this evening. But I want to acknowledge each of you. Sharing your dedication and love for the arts allows your students to thrive. You give them what they need to discover their own passion and the ability to express themselves. I also want to acknowledge the parents and guardians of these fantastic students. Your love and support help enable your child to chase their dreams and to succeed. This past year has required a lot of extra work from our educational staff, teachers, 
parents, and students. To be here tonight is an accomplishment. Thank you everyone for persevering and making tonight a reality for our students. The arts are such a crucial part of our culture and society. In the words of William Bennett, former US Secretary of Education, the arts are an essential element of education. Music, dance, painting, and theater are all keys that unlock profound human understanding and accomplishment. So without further ado, let's announce our categories and winners. Tonight, we'll be announcing awards for third, second, and first place in six categories. All winners will receive a leather-bound portfolio covered sketchbook engraved with their name and the award. And for the first time in the history of the Superintendent's High School Art Show, we will be awarding a Principal's Art Leadership Award. And this winner will receive an insulated coffee mug engraved with their name and the award. So without further ado, let's announce our winners. In the category of three-dimensional, the third place winner is Aaron Porizek, Chico High School, Tea with Joan Miro. In the three-dimensional category, the second place winner is Emily Borgman, Chico High School, Giving 2020 the Boot. The first place winner in three-dimensional is Dorian Wells from Paradise High School, Floating Castle in the Sky, teacher Janelle Murphy. Dorian or Janelle, you are invited to unmute and read the artist's statement. I would be happy and honored to read for Dorian. He was not, not able to make it today. Uh, his artist statement. I decided to make this piece because I was challenged by my little brother. I think as an artist, you are never fully satisfied and there are some things I wish I would have done differently, but I am very grateful for what I have learned from, this, from building this castle. It helped me grow as an artist and I am excited to see what I am capable of doing later on. Thank you all. Thank you, Mrs. Murphy. Now in the category of digital photography, the third place winner is Eva Dixon, Davis Nixon, Inspire School of Arts and Sciences, The Elegance of Anguish. In digital photography second place, the winner is Dusty Vela, Pleasant Valley High School, Bear Fire. The first place winner in digital photography is Kevin Haywood from Inspire School of Arts and Sciences, Time Warp, teacher Aaron Hall. Kevin or Aaron, you're invited to unmute and read the artist's statement. I will read it. Um, so this photo represents the passage of time throughout the pandemic and how it's gone by in like a warp of time. Um, it's as if I left March 2020 and warped into today without any time going by, as if I walked through a portal through the months and I lost a year of life in a flash. Thank you. Thank you, that was fabulous. Now onto the category of mixed media. The third place winner is Abigail Boutel of Paradise High School. No expectations. And in mixed media, the second place award goes to Aiden Castillo, Pleasant Valley High School, passing. The 
The first place winner in mixed media is Kalani Sterling from Pleasant Valley High School. Woman, teacher, Lauren Barrera Green. Kalani or Lauren, you're invited to unmute and read the artist's statement. Um, this piece embodies beauty because of the details in the face, such as the delicate blue hues and the shadowing and highlighting. And the flowers in the back represent growth in the, pe in the people and the beauty of change. Beautiful, thank you. Thank you so much. Now in the category of paint or pastel, the third place award goes to Brianna Garman, Chico High School, first case of buyer's remorse. And the second place award in paint or pastel goes to Grace Mott, Chico High School, going to hell in a handbasket. The first place winner in paint or pastel is Amanda Harris from Chico High School. Hair Gossip Salon. Teacher, Paul Stevens. Amanda or Paul, you're invited to unmute and read the artist's statement. Um, yeah, I hope you guys can hear me. Um, <laughs> so for my artist statement, it's um, after looking through childhood photographs, I came across a picture that sparked a vivid memory. Through color and brush strokes, I hoped to not only replicate the imagery, but the feeling of being within the salon as well. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. In the category of pencil, ink, or charcoal, the third place award goes to Harmony Tao. Oroville High School, Zebra. And in second place for pencil, ink, or charcoal, the award goes to Isabel Gonzalez, Inspire School of Arts and Sciences, Octopus Food. The first place winner in pencil, ink, or charcoal is Duwachi Xian from Oroville High School, Wallflower. Teacher, Samantha Montifering. Duwachi or Samantha, you're invited to unmute and read the artist's statement. Hi, I'll read uh, Duchy's statement for you guys. Um, she says, I love drawing portraits with special details. I use floral wallpaper as inspiration for this portrait. Thank you so much, Samantha. Okay. And in the category of digital media, the third place award goes to Lily Funkhauser, Inspire School of Arts and Sciences, Complete and Invincible. And the second place award in digital photography or digital media goes to Peyton Stockwell, Inspire School of Arts and Sciences, Distances Grasp. The first place winner in digital media is Carson Posas from Pleasant Valley High School, Altered Beliefs. Teacher, Lauren Barrera Green. Carson or Lauren, you're invited to unmute and read the artist statement. Okay, I will go. If Carson is there, he can cut me off if he wants to. This piece <laughs> shows humankind's never ending search for a purpose through different cultures. Humans had, have argued over our purpose on this earth for a millennia when the real beauty of life is not knowing. Thank you very much. I feel like we need to have an applause soundtrack because uh, the if we were in real in real life, we would have a, a round of applause and a standing ovation 
Congratulations to all of these amazing artists, their skill executing the works in a variety of media, as well as the complex and profound ideas embedded in the works is truly something to be proud of. Finally tonight, I am so pleased to be part of helping to establish this last award. As you all know, strong art programs in our schools require the attention and leadership of the school principal. That's why this year we formulated criteria and took nominations from art teachers to recognize this pivotal leadership role. Specific criteria included encouragement of art teachers and art programs in their schools, demonstrated recognition of the value and importance of single subject art classes, and dedication to the prospect of growing art education in the school. Now, Mary will introduce the winner. Thank you. I am delighted to announce our first recipient of the prestigious Principals Art Leadership Award. As Jennifer said, the award nominees must encourage and promote arts education and demonstrate the value and importance of arts education. This year, I am very proud to present the Principals Art Leadership Award to Doug Williams from Chico High School. Here are a few words from those who nominated Doug. Doug Williams supports the arts education department in any way possible. He is genuinely an arts advocate. Mr. Williams fully supports the visual and performing arts by attending shows, supporting with funding, and forwarding opportunities for students to showcase their work in various venues. He values his art instructors as educational equals and has increased the art department's connection to several CTE pathways, which connect the arts to other career-oriented programs and resources. Mr. Williams worked in the graphic arts field before entering the field of education. He brings a great deal of knowledge and experience to the arts education realm and shares it with those around him. Mr. Williams, I want to invite you to unmute yourself and say a few words. Uh, thank you very much, Mary. Uh, first of all, I wanna say I'm honored to receive this award. And obviously, you know, it's kind for you to recognize principals, but without the unbelievable dedication of our art instructors, um, the department here at Chico High School, as well as all the other schools, Ms. Montifering at, at Oroville, hello, how are you? Uh, and the PV uh, instructors that I know and others around that I might not personally know, but I've watched your work. Um, and I want you to know that, you know, art is not only important to me, but it's really why we do a lot of the other things we do. And it touches so many students in ways that other classes uh, can't do. And so it's very important, I think, for us all to stay together as a community and support each other because as we all know, the art world is a lot like other worlds. It's very close um, and making sure we're sharing resources and encouraging our fellow students. And also, I really appreciate the fact that uh, the, my art teachers to me are like super teachers. They're not only connecting with curriculum and doing all the other A to G requirements and CTE, but they with kids to like to drive their passions. And, and I'm honored to receive this award. And the student's work is unbelievable. When you see the winners or the second place or third place awards, we have some unbelievably talented students uh, in our area. So I am just honored to be in this, even in the same mention with some of these students. So thank you very much. Thank you, Doug. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your hard work and dedication to the arts, your staff and your students. Congratulations again. Okay, we need another applause soundtrack. Uh, I also wish everyone could have seen the faces of the teachers, uh, Doug's teachers, um, Miss uh, Nancy and um, Paul. They were just beaming uh, when he was making that talk. And so what a, what a great uh, new award. Uh, if you could uh, show the last slide here. 
I just want to be sure and invite everyone to see the full exhibit of the one, almost 100 outstanding works by these artists. And uh, you can do that at the link that's on the, on the image here on the slide. And also that full uh, URL is in the chat box. So thank you so much for joining us tonight. And thank you so much for supporting arts education and these hardworking, talented students. Good night, everybody. Have a great evening. Thank you and good night. Congratulations, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all very much. Have a great week. Thank you, everyone. Good Thank job, you guys. Yeah. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>